Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we'll learn about differentiation, and we'll apply the product rule, where we differentiate each function with respect to x. So if I was given this function, y equals, parenthesis negative 2, x to the 4, plus 5x squared, plus 4, and we're going to multiply that by a second parenthesis here of negative 3x squared, plus 2. Well, to apply the product rule, I have to have two functions that are multiplied. I can apply two functions that are multiplying together, which we have. We have our two functions here, this parenthesis and that parenthesis. First one, negative 2x to the fourth plus 5x squared plus 4. I'm going to label that as my f. And negative, x, uh, negative 3x squared plus 2, I'm labeling that as g. Okay? So when I apply the product rule, when I take my derivative, dy dx, I'm going to take my f, negative 2x to the fourth plus 5x squared plus 4, and I'm going to multiply that by g prime, g prime being negative 6x, taking the derivative of, the, of our g, plus g, which is negative 3x squared plus 2, times my f prime, f prime comes out to be negative 8x to the third, plus 10x, okay? <clears throat> so now once I have that, I need to simplify this. So to simplify, I need to distribute uh, my parts out, so we have dy dx, is equal to this distribute negative 6x times negative 2x to the fourth is a positive 12x to the fifth plus negative 6x times 5x squared is a negative 30x uh, to the third and then negative 6x times 4 is a um, negative 24x. So let's make that a plus a negative, why not? Okay, negative 24x. So now I have the next part here plus, okay, here. Let's go distribute. Well, let's go negative 3. Uh, x, now remember there's two parts here, right? Two parts for each one. So we have to make sure we get all of them here. Negative 3x squared times a negative 8x to the third is a positive 24x to the fifth. Negative 3x uh, squared times 10x is a negative 30x to the third. 2 times a negative 8x to the third is a negative 16x to the third. And 2 times 10x is a positive 20x. So now we have our final like terms. My two uh, highest and basically final like terms, combine them together, highest degrees first. Highest degrees I see are to the fifth power. I have two of them. So I simplify this, dy dx. And it might be good to like mark when, once you've combined two of them together. 12x to the fifth plus 24x to the fifth is uh, 36. Positive 36x to the fifth. So I'm going to mark these two to show that I've brought them down. Okay. Then that next highest degree I see is the third power. I have three of them. One, two, three. Okay, three of them to the third power. So to combine them, well, negative 30x to the third plus negative 30x to the third is negative 60x to the third, right? Plus a negative 16, okay? So you have 60x to the third, uh, negative 60x to the third plus negative 16x to the third is negative 76x to the third. We got these three. And lastly, we have the last two here are just x's, negative 24x plus 20x is a negative 4x. And there we have our final answer, dy dx is equal to 36x to the fifth minus 76x to the third minus 4. So let's recap. We're given our function y equals, and in parentheses, uh, negative 2x to the fourth plus 5x squared plus 4, which I label as our function f, times our second one, negative 3x squared plus 2, which I label as g. I then applied the product rule, which was f times g prime plus g times f prime. And then I had to distribute, giving me this long uh, function here, dy dx is equal to 12x to the fifth plus a negative 30x to the third plus a negative 24x plus 24x to the fifth minus 30x or plus a negative 30x to the third plus a negative 16x to the third plus 20x. <sighs> then I simplified, combining my like terms, no, didn't label that one, I combining my like terms and put my highest degrees first. So, that, and I marked which ones I had uh, done to make sure I brought everything down to forget anything. And my final answer here is dy dx is equal to 36x to the fifth minus 76x to the third minus 4x.